Anyone have a dance party right now? Yeah. <laughs> Dolphin in the flower. Sitting around all the time and being kind of delirious because you're not well rested or whatever and you're laughing at shit that's not that funny. That happens so much on tour. We're not going to keep this, this thing going. This isn't going to be some new joke. There's enough jokes on me already. Some kid, I guess, what, what, what the kid right in? He goes, oh, I had a great time at the cannibal show at Raleigh or whatever, you know, or Jack's or one of the <clears> shows <throat> early in the tour. He goes, fun fact, Corpse Grinder has really soft hands. It was all over from there. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god, really soft. The ammo is flying. So, Paul Mollin. My name's Madge. Well, no, Madge is so Oh, cool. Madge is. Oh, yeah, there's Madge. Who's this? Madge. I got some big Madge. kids. You. I got some rocking memories. It makes no sense. <laughs> I just like the pictures. Because it's the <laughs> fuck. It's, it's my passport picture. I don't have soft hands. Killing time, we're always coming up with. I wouldn't call it code lingo, but it's definitely just terms that only we understand because we were the only ones there when we made it up. And then we get looked at like aliens when we're saying this stuff. Go whiz, ass wipe. I'm going to dick cheese. Okay, hot slap. <laughs> okay, ball and joy. Piss. Taking a piss, taking a whiz. Whiz. A little less vulgar than piss, whatever. But then whiz, wizard. And then there's no toilet backstage, but there's a sink. Sink wizard. Uh, that, became our, that was a big one, the sink wizard. <laughs> Fortunately, the sink dump never took off. Never that didn't off. catch on. Oh, the difference between funnel and skyrocket? This beer was piss warm. That's a funnel. I'm going to get a new one. It's going to be ice cold. That's a skyrocket. When my clothes were missing in Israel, that was a massive funnel for me, you know? And then when everybody else got their stuff before me, that was a skyrocket. Chris made up the funnel. That's, that's him, man. I gotta, I gotta give him credit for it. We did it so much. We did it a Back lot. in the early 90s. This one tour we did, it just, it wasn't really, there were a lot of shows that didn't have a great vibe. I think we'd kind of over toured for the Bleeding album. It was like the last tour for the Bleeding album. And he was like, dude, I just don't know, man. He's like, I don't feel a skyrocket vibe, man. He's like, it's funnel. Immolation started using it too, and they came up with some cool things. They had the skyrocket that you say, oh, you think it's gonna be awesome? Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a funnel. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> funnel. We apply it to many different scenarios. You get a r empty row on the plane, and you can lie out, you know, with nobody near you. It's a rocket. The ultimate rocket row is when it's a really big plane and there's like four or five seats in the middle, in the big middle column of seats, and nobody's in them. But if you get a rocket row, you're sad, man. You got three chairs, just you. I don't, I don't think they'll allow me to utilize the rocket three times. Somebody else is suffering in the middle. Mm. You know, replay nice and hot. And you're in the rocket And we say it all the time, like, dude, that might be a rocket. We check that out. Usually that dream fades. But every once in a while, 